flavor material and occasionally I bid on something. Gotcha. I think I have like eight or nine official job titles. Gotcha. Many hats, huh? I think everybody does. I think it's part of the job. We're quiet. Everybody. Yeah. I get to go play. I'd rather play again. My eyes oh. are actually somewhat ready. Well, Scott's leaving and he's going to go play. And it might be the reason that I'm soft is because I constantly push the mic away from my face. I don't know if it's not long enough or what. Because I do have a big head. So that could have a part of it. Just started. So let me see if I can read this off. So, the Bar Box Bonanza series for next year, January 22nd and 23rd at Chop Tank Billiards. There's a Fargo Rate Open Nine Ball Tournament, February 26th and 27th at Brews. There's a 1200 and under Scotch Doubles Tournament. Nine ball, March 26th and 27th at Brews and Cues. There's a 1200 Scotch Doubles 10 ball tournament, April 30th and May 1st, Brews and Cues. Fargo Rate Open 8 ball, June 11th and 12th, Chop Tank ball, Bowling Billiards, Fargo Rate 10 ball open, July 30th, 31st, Brews and Cues. It's another Fargo Rate Open 9 ball. Um, September 24th and 25th, it's our 1200 Scotch Doubles 8 ball tournament. And then there's going to, at the end of the year, we're, we're setting the date right now, but there's going to be a, um, a Fargo rate um, open tournament with, I'm pretty sure it's going to be either four or 5,000 first place. And this is all Fargo rate. And then there's going to, there's going to be a handicap inside of that, a different game spot for people. So. It's going to be pretty good. Then we have the Maryland State Championships. We have the women's event, February 12th and 13th at Brews and Cues. It's a nine ball, 625 and under. Then in March 12th and 13th, there's the Maryland State 8 ball, which is at Brews and Cues. In April 9th and 10th, Brews and Cues, it's the nine ball tournament. It's a really a, like a warm up, Maryland State 9 ball, which is like a warm up for everything that you have up there at. Um, What's it? The Expo. Yep. Then October 22nd and 23rd, Maryland State Scotch Doubles Tournament. It's a nine ball tournament. And that's open. And then November 26th and 27th, it's the, um, the Thanksgiving weekend tournament or 10 ball tournament. And we're looking to, um, there's two more tournaments. That's that's one of them, and then there's going to be another one that's going to have some added money this year, or first place money this year that's going to be 2000 or better. But right now, that's, we're working on that. So right now, there's one that's four or 5000 first place that's scheduled for November. So end of the year is going to be full of fun. We'll have all the information out to you guys here. Probably in the next week and a half, two weeks or so. So everybody can sign up and play. All right. Andrew missed the two ball bank. And Andy's coming in. Let's see what it looks like from the different. Well, it's got a path. 
We'll see what happens. Cuts it to the left. It's got a chance of scratching. Bring it back to the other rail. This is Josh is sneaking in. I don't know. Oh, look at this. This is a great shot right here. That was a great shot. Oh, that was a great shot. Just roll it on over. Josh Parks, the, the photographer. Are you in? Well, you got to click that on. I think now I'm on. Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah. It's been a long day. Josh is here taking pictures of, from the tournament, doing raffles, running around to birthday parties, with the things that happen when you become an adult. Yeah. Lots of run, fun. Run, run, run. Yeah. Seven-year-old birthday parties. <laughs> oh, that's the fun. A lot of screaming going on. Oh. Look, he stood up on that one. He made the ball, too. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, uh. Does everything go well at the party? Good? It was good. My daughter bowled 102. All right. That's better than me, so. It's not saying much, but it's definitely better than me. What people don't know is, I mean, there was bumpers up, and she used a little rack to roll the ball down, but... Yeah. Hey, I do the same thing, and I still don't get 102, so... <laughs> yeah, the first time I took her bowling, she got a 140, and I got 125. Oh, yeah. But then she made you feel it, too, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do. They she love was, it. She was three and a half. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I also was playing with my daughter last night, and she was, let's hide the Easter eggs. So we're hiding the Easter eggs in the house, and she's hiding them, and then I got to go find them. And then she goes, come on, let's go find them. And then I go in there, and she goes, look, I found one. So she hides them all, and then she finds them all for me. So I don't even have to look, but it's great. Just the expression that she has. Yep. I got that with my daughter. Yeah. So she gets mad when I find them. She yeah. wants to find them. Yep. And she's the one to place them, too. That's the funny Especially when she puts something special in there and she doesn't want you to find it, but she wants you to find it, and then she gets yeah. mad when you do. Yeah, yeah. She puts little things in there, like change or whatever it may be. I say, I got a surprise in you. It's a nice shot by Andy. Yes, it was. Or Andrew. Yeah, that's an Andrew shot. Oh. I think he could have rolled down a little closer for that. Oh, well, that was a good shot, too. Well, I would have to say Andrew is winning one and nothing. And I believe it's his break. Yep. Yeah, a Andrew's, uh, I guess he's a local in this area. Um, he shoots here on the Monday night tournaments occasionally. Oh, okay. Yeah, this place, um, you figured it would, do they have leagues in here? They do. Yeah, every, they do. every, pretty much every day, apart from Mondays, they have league pool here. Oh, okay. They have, uh, t TAP, I think they have TAP, APA, and BCA. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, I play on Thursday nights, uh, nine ball. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Is it all in-house or is it travel around here? It's all in-house. Oh, that's the best. Yep. Uh, There's not that many places around here. I mean, there are, but it's nice having it in-house with the quality of the tables here. And uh, right. not having to worry about going to other places um, around. And there's a few few handfuls of places in, that are reasonably close to, to a travel league here, but... 
the size table might have a lot to do with that because this is the only place around here with nine foots, right? Well, there's Let's... there's seven seven billiards here has nine foots. Uh, you have Azul in Gaithersburg. Uh, they have nine foots. Oh, okay, um, I didn't even know that. There's a few other places in Gaithersburg. Um, I don't know the other names off the top of my head. But it's predominantly all uh, all nine foots in this area, apart from like bang shots, which oh. have you know four four nine foots in the back and right. sixteen seven foots. That's a little far to drive from here, right? It's about a thirty five minute drive. Yep. Yeah. I, it would definitely have to be an in house for me if I was around here. Yeah, I live right down the street, so it's a fifteen minute drive for me to come here. Well, that's nice. Mine was an hour and 15 minutes to get here. It's not too bad. I, dri I drive down here all the time because I drive a tractor trailer and deliver all down through Gaithersburg and a couple other spots and then all DC stuff. So, yeah. Delivering concrete and staying busy. As long as they keep building. Sky cranes keep me alive. So this he's on the three ball here, right? Does it go to the yeah. side pocket, or does it? I think that yeah, that's the three ball, four ball. And then, yeah, the four is tied up with a seven. Get a little um, from the foot rail. And get yeah, that's. I'm guessing that what color is the five ball? No, no, he's right there. I'm sorry, the five ball is by the rail. I thought that yeah. was the, uh, the three. Yeah, that's what I thought it was too. Oh. Huh. See what it looks like at the other end. Andrew's going to try to chop it into the corner. Well, well this is a little better shot for Andy. For the last one he took and played opposite hand and might need a bridge. Oh, oh he went straight for the extension. Would he play the four and then come out for the combo for the five and the six on the side? It all depends on how far he rolls down, but if he rolls down to where he is about now, he would play the combination. <coughs> oh. So here he's probably going to play the kiss. Skim the side of the five, make the six, and try to hit it just hard enough so that he can stay in line for the seven. So the score is backwards, by the way. It's Andrew Hong who's got one and Andy Lincoln zero. Oh. Thanks, Chris Oche. Thank you. Oh, that was a little off the wall. I don't know why he hit that one so hard. He could have got the same shot, but hitting it softer and a little closer. Good recovery. Oh. oh, what are you doing, Andy? He, he came out with a shot. But... He is working for it. He is definitely working for it. They play things a little differently in Montgomery County. What's that? So they play things a little differently in Montgomery County. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> it's, the, it's the whole mask thing. There's not enough oxygen going to the brain. 
That's because everybody has to wear these masks. Oh, that was a nice shot. It's not how I would want to shoot it all the time, but that was a nice shot. And he should be used to shooting these. He likes playing that straight pull game. All right. The score is tied. I must have knew something. Try something from a sponsor. Pick one. Gino Cunningham of Keller Williams Integrity, making dreams come true one home at a time. All right. How do you get it off of there? <laughs> That's what I've been doing. There you go, Chief. Got to change the look at this because we're seeing the back of the shirt. Don't get to see what's going on. <laughs> All right, Andy made a couple balls on the break. Oh, got a shot on the one. I need to talk. I need to talk to him like that because. <laughs> It's a shot at the one. Let's see what happens. It's going to work out. That's a nice little shot right there. I'm going off of this. Should be going off of that. That's just crazy. I'm, I wasn't even paying attention to it. Now I am. I'm like, oh, look at that. Did he play it in the side? Let's see if it's on the rail. It's a little off the pocket. That's funny. I just can't help myself. So you work for a fire company or what? what do you... I, who? What do I do for work? Yeah, I, I work for uh, Howard County Central Fleet. Um, basically, the uh, mechanic shop for the Howard County Police and, and firefighters. Oh, okay. So yeah, when I was showing my wife the other day the photos that you took, and she was like. I don't know anybody that does any photos. I said, well, I think I know somebody. Who's that? I said, I showed my wife some of your photos, and she was like, it all started with, I want to get I want to get our daughter's photos taken. And I said, yeah. I said, she goes, well, I don't know anybody that does photos. I said, well, I don't know. I think I might know somebody, you know? <laughs> Does he do a good job? Oh, he's been doing them for us for a while now. 
It's just like, yeah, yeah. Who is it? I had to go through the whole spiel with it and everything like that. She was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but then she looked you up on Facebook because she's going to call you. And, she, and then she seen you with the firefighter thing. Or the fire truck in the background. Or something. She thought you were a firefighter. I knew you did something with him. I just didn't know what you did with him. No, I'm a glorified parts person for Harry County Central Fleet. There you go. But it's... uh. Pay, pays the main bills. Yep, that's it. Mm, and photography, uh, it, 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 it's more of an advanced hobby. I have lots of fun with it. I do lots of other, anywhere from band pictures to pool pictures to portraits. Just did, um, just did some pictures for um, a realtor company. Not too long ago, and um, I did some family portraits for a close friend, well, a friend of mine. So it's just working on those at the moment in between my day job and going to tournaments. Gotcha. Um, but it's, it's fun. I put my little spin on family pictures and stuff like that, and I have lots of fun with the creative side. Yeah, that's the that's the best side. So, but it's getting cold outside now for uh, for outdoor pictures. Yeah, you can get your holiday pictures in quick. Contact Josh. Josh Parks. Contact him. Get your holiday pictures in if you need some full pictures. You can check out his work underneath of his Facebook page, or you can check out his work on on the hill. He's got his little watermark on his pictures to show us what he does. The little little tweaks he does for the photos for us and everybody else. Good work. Yep. High you quality your, work. If you book now, you might get your pictures before Christmas. Nice shot on a 10. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And predict the future. Oh. I bet the guy with the A in his first name is going to win this thing. And, and Andy or Andrew is going to win. Yeah, yeah, it's one or the other. <laughs> Got to put your thing. Uh oh, sweet tarts are coming around. Candy time. I'm good, thank you. Get my sugar high. Yeah, that's it. Man, that is tart. You want to play safe here or try and uh, play some draw? <laughs> uh, looks like he's playing. Oop. Oh no. I would, uh. I don't know. Looks like he tried to play try to play a decent safe for him. Leave some distance. Yeah, 
it's bog it's mind boggling looking at that. Looks like Amy's going to kick this ball. Good hit. Yes. Oh, yeah, I think he got a little bit lucky, too. A uh, roll, or what, however you want to call it. Tester. He's got a chance to shoot in the top pocket and uses six and three as a helper. Six and five. Seven is six and five. Yeah, he uses those guys as a helper. Not a bad try. Racing for the corner. That's what's going to happen with that shot. They're both going to come off there quick. Hot. Losses of talk, Reed. Which shot are you talking about? The bank so over the cut. The kick. And he got left with the kick, and then the last ten ball. Thin the ball, try to put some separation on this ball. Yeah, Andrew Hong's 
last shot, the last match with the 10 ball. It was, I guess it was the flip of the coin if you wanted to bank it or cut it. Both were uh, not a bad option. Whatever uh, you feel comfortable at the time. I think that was a little trying to make something happen there. This table just got refelted uh, two days ago. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Um, I know it's sliding. Oh my god. He has got that down. That's the second time he's done that. Two jump shots. He's put two of them off the table. I know I'm so confused. I'm telling you. That's why I'm not saying anything. I just, I don't know if I'm doing it right, wrong, or what. And you're following suit. You're quiet. <laughs> or, I, or I have to talk to Dave about this one. <laughs> it's like we can predict the future. Right. Exactly. The YouTube viewers are... Uh, so what are they talking about? Got a five-second delay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. We see it live, and we're seeing it a five-second delay. And we're calling it live, and we don't know how you're seeing it. If you're seeing it with a delay, or you're seeing it live with us. I mean, he's going to make the, the five six combo here. So, we're just going to have to talk to Dave about this one, or Rick. The guy spend more time in here, and he can tell us what we're doing. Just move the screen to that side and blow it I up. Know, that's, I tried to, and I paused it. <laughs> and I just started back up again because I didn't know what was going on. Me and Scott did it to the whole time. When we were out, I was up here earlier, me and Scott were going by this one here, so I don't know what it's like. Uh oh. Make the eight in the corner and roll back yeah. up for the nine. Yeah, because this could be right on time. We just keep going, and then it comes up there. I think that's what happens. I just need to have some clarification for it. All right. Andy's about to tie it up with Andrew. If you guys don't know, it's two to two right now. So we're just letting you know that. And in the picture is showing the him shooting the nine ball. On. So if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yep. Now you know. You guys have to tell us what do you see. Hank six eight 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 seven still watching. How's the weather uh, out south? I have some friends in Kentucky that just had some storms. I seen some of the tornadoes are coming through. Somebody posted on Facebook. Yeah, the um, Kentucky just had some tornadoes go through. I'm being served some Harry Bow gummy bears. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, you're leaving me the bag and you're taking the. Okay. It's a limited time party hats. There's blue party hat gummies in these gummy bears. Nice. Whoever's watching this is 
probably thinks we're crazy as shit. Excuse my language, sorry. We're, oh, we're only got half of it right. Ugh. He's been shooting a lot of opposite handed stuff. I wish I was uh, ambidextrous. It's like anything, if you practice it enough, you'll get it. You don't have to be as perfect left handed as you are right handed or right handed as you are left handed. You just need to be comfortable enough to shoot the ball. Well, When all else fails, learn to use the bridge if you can't reach it. It was uh, pretty interesting watching a few people here today and then how, how the different styles of shooting. We had um, Matt Braz was here. And if, uh, if you've never watched him shoot pull before, he's uh, got a prosthetic arm. Yeah, he's um, he's amazing to watch. Yeah. He's got a very, very unique break, um, but it works, and he gets a decent spread on the balls. Yeah, I know. Um, I think somebody told me that his dad made him that prosthetic arm, or the attachment that goes on there, so he can actually play with both hands. Yeah. Because he was just shooting with one hand, and it was the wildest thing you ever seen. He just held the cue, had a bridge, had a hold of the bridge. And then used the bridge to stroke the ball. And, like, the cue didn't move through his fingers. His hand moved. And yep. the table slid back and forth. And he would stroke like that. Hold the cue straight, stroke back and forth like that. Yep. And it was amazing. Yeah, I got a couple of pictures of him shooting, so I'll post yeah. them later. Yeah, it's mesmerizing to see somebody take you, you know... With a, um, with something that happened to him or whatever, born that way or however it went down, and then never let it stop him. Just said, "I'm doing it." Yep. And just overcome obstacles and, and have a good time. Exactly. He's a really so, nice kid too. Yeah, I was talking to him earlier. Yeah, I showed him the, the pictures that I took. He was really digging them. Well, it's good. But it's uh. If you don't know, you know. He's gonna bank this shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the wildest thing ever. I, I might try cutting it, but, mm -hmm. but Andrew's gonna bank this and fire it in. I can tell you this, these chairs are um, not so comfortable for my big butt. I'm surprised you more. don't uh, I need more have chair. chairs to bring, bring with you. Yeah. You bring the monitors and everything else. And yeah, exactly. If I'm bringing something, it's going to be a lounge chair, and I'll, then they'll hear me snore. Get like the, the rock and sock uh, drum throne seat that's got like the gel cushion in there. Yeah.
All right, so from what we see on one monitor, he's shooting the eight still. On the other monitor, he's shooting the nine. One is live and the other one's Memorex. It's not the greatest lead, but. Oh, he's got a, he's got a shot. And he shoots a lot of straight pulls. So these are just like normal straight pull shots for him. You know, even though he's playing tumball, he made a nine ball earlier. That was the same way. Huh. Well, we've got that done. And Andrew won that game and he's and he's breaking. We'll see what let's see if I can start something here. Oh, Google, yep. Let it all do the thinking for us. Get a Tesla so it can drive me home. Yeah, exactly. Everything is becomes. I don't even know how it can get any easier than what we're doing right now.
What's this Google thing you're talking about? We were, uh, said a riddle on the stream. And then had <laughs> somebody answer it. Use Google. If you missed it, let's open when it's closed and close when it's open. Back in the day, you could only find answers in riddle books. Nope. You had to go to the library to figure it out. Or you read it in the back of a paper. <laughs> you don't even have to leave the crapper and you figure out how to rule the world. <laughs> get, a, get a Sports Illustrated for Kids magazine. Yep. What was the Highlights magazine? Is that what it was? Yep. Everybody grew up on those were great. Well, I had those in elementary and middle school. Oh. Mm. Oh. All right. Andy, uh, hopefully tie this up. We'll have another Hill Hill thriller. Yep. Look at that. Ta da! Oh. All right, tie score. See, where's that other thing at? There it is. Press this one. Which one are we doing this time? We're going to do... Try this one here. Hi, Hurry Rock. Up, we you share your passion back. for billiards. Gonna Use code OTH17 at checkout. Don't know. There we go. I've seen a lot of people break from the center of the table rather than the sides like a nine ball break. Center of the table? Like Which as in, like in the middle, rather than shooting off to where like the seven is sitting. Oh yeah, well that's where they want to break at. The object is to make the the bottom or the two behind the the one ball, in the side. That's why I take pictures and not play pool that much. Yeah, it's a whole lot easier. <laughs> that's less strenuous. Especially on yourself. Let's see what it looks like in a different different angle here. All right. Look at that bearded guy in the back. Is that that Scott Haas guy? It looks like Scott. Yeah. You got Rick back there. You got Dave back there. Yeah. Right now, Scott Haas is playing uh, Steve Plumbing. Oh, that's a tough one. They don't have ice cream here, so I had to go to 7-Eleven. Did he? He didn't walk up here. He came back with coffee. Ain't nobody want to eat ice cream and walk through that stuff. That's what the tell us through. Man. Every time I look around, I find out something new about the stuff he put on here. Thanks, Winner. I, uh... I have to play more 10 ball. If anybody wants to play me in 10 ball for some pictures, you know. <laughs> I'm definitely Ooh. improving my break. <laughs> Don't step on your glasses. I can see him down there. Thank you. Like uh, Dave Zazina uh, finished playing uh, Sean Jackson. And, uh, Josh McCauley is playing Rick Miller. The 
kick them. Oh, man. That is. A lot of random people just walking in. Oh, is that what it is? We'll get him next time. You'll we'll get him next time. I don't know. Did you win or lose? You won? Oh, shit. <laughs> so there you go. Sean Jackson, Jackson beat uh, Dave Zazina. He was walking over to the bar. He didn't look very happy. So. He's wearing all black incognito today. No red. <laughs> every every tournament I've seen him play, he's always wearing a different color. <laughs> the gummy bears came back. Oh. Bracket look like up here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Main one. So, they're playing. Why can I not grab that? Must have stalled out or something. Back so that. Oh. Seven three Jimmy. They're playing right now. Shamal Knights. That's gonna be good. Matt Dave Cross Dave still in it. Kevin West, they're getting ready to play. Yep. Scott Haas and I were playing, Dennis and I were playing. I guess he's playing him right now. Yeah, Rick, Rick's on table seven. Yeah, he's playing right now. So, we got Miller and Josh. <laughs> so, it looks like we're moving along. Because this Brian, is the top. Brian Jones is still playing. The top 12. Lucas has been playing really well. Yeah, he, he was a run out. He was a run out artist there. Just getting out from everywhere he was. He was. Lucas Werner, Justin Pellick, Fred Stonemeyer is playing with Jimmy Rivera. Should be a good match. Andy Lincoln's playing Andy Hong, Andrew Hong right now. And Caleb Curry and Sean Jackson will be playing soon. Maybe. Yeah, because we got to get when these guys lose, they come all the way out here. So these are just creeping out now. So get them to creep out more. And then once they get all inside of that, we could, and it's only 8 o'clock. So I don't know how far more time for pool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's all kind of time for pool. Uh, get to go back to the... Okay, this does that. Then where is... There it is. Oh, oh man. The they needed, somebody needed to round off the corners on these things. Yeah. That pops right into your leg. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Mm. 
So what's the next tournament you're looking forward to, Lauren? I want one of these all start. That whole series. That would be nice. The, yeah, the uh, chat team bowling and billiards. Yeah. January 22nd and 23rd. Yeah, I like it because it's the Fargo raid system. It's added in. We put together a little handicap system for people to play. To get everybody out and playing. So we're going to have to do... Got any video equipment or is you, all your equipment you have is all uh, camera equipment? My camera has the ability to do video, but I haven't messed with a lot of video. Yeah. It's too complicated and I don't get paid enough. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Although someone will tell me that it's easy, but I prefer taking still pictures. Yeah. Don't move. I don't have the uh, the patience to sit and, and, and edit the different threads and pair stuff together and get all the sound working right and stuff like that. Gotcha. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of an investment. Especially your time. And you got that new baby. Yep, I have a almost three month old, old at home now. He's, uh, he's getting big. So you got this? You got a seven-year-old and a three-month-old. Yep, I'll be oh. th three months in on January third. It's born October third. Cool. At four twenty. October. Oh, October baby. Yeah. Hank six eight eight seven. Been out of the pool. Come out to a tournament, Hank. Don't know where you're located, but it's a tournament out there for everybody. If you're lucky, you might even get a picture by me. Yeah. How many players was in there? Well, total 46. We had over 60, but that the um, the mandate to wearing a face mask um, just. Some people are for it, some people are against it. If anybody's looking, I have a QSEC Ghost Synergy for sale. If anybody's just getting back in the pool, yeah, wants a nice Q. I've also One got right. uh, some white carbon fiber shafts. Yeah, there were three three. Yeah, you got the white carbon fiber chefs. It's one of our sponsors for next year. Has the um the interchangeable joints. Comes in multiple sizes. They have brake cues, brake shafts. Oh. Are they yours? Um, you, you can have some. Yeah. Dave is back from his match, and the first thing he does is stick his hand right into the gummy bears. Yep. <laughs> Hope you sanitized your hands. <laughs>
Sorry, we didn't mean to mute, but we had uh, some some visitors come up to the booth and or, uh, random talking. But yes, Maryland does have a, a mandate in some areas. Um, Montgomery County just uh, started their mask mandate not too long ago. Um, different places yep. have different uh, different mandates. It's where everybody's quote unquote safety. We should have asked him. We had it right there. We didn't ask him. Man, that was perfect timing. Back to the white carbon fiber shafts. It's the new ones that are coming out. They got them in multiple sizes. Diameters from 11.9 all the way up to 13. They got them 11.9, 12, 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half, 12, 7, 5, 13. They got the, what is it, the two different style tapers for the brake shafts. They got the pro taper. What's it, the con? How do you pronounce yeah. that? Conical tra taper? Yeah, the like conical, that? yep. Yeah, the conical taper. So they have that with the brake shafts. Um, they have every pin that you can possibly think of. Um, they're great yeah, looking look shafts. They play, they look very nice and they play very well. I played with them out in uh, Vegas and I was impressed. Well, I haven't uh, haven't had the opportunity to try them yet, but definitely uh, definitely looking forward to it. I shoot with a Lambros Q and I also have a IQ Q that I custom Q out of Athens, Greece that I shoot with, but definitely right. looking to try the, the new carbon, the new technology that's out there. Yeah, and then if you're in a situation like myself and Lambros too, with the, um, more of myself because I have a Southwest that I play with and that 13 8 11. Oh man, or, oh yeah, three eight eleven. That thing is the only way you can get to practice with a shaft is if you buy the shaft. You can't. There's like no practice points. You know, everything I have to buy. So I've I've gotten the I've got the carbon fiber shaft, a Revo carbon fiber shaft, but it was made from a different card. They switched out the joint on it from one style joint to the other one, and I, it's it makes a tank noise, and I don't like it. I don't like any tank noises. So, all the shafts I've ever had made for that Q, and I've had them. I have the, the original Southwest shafts. I've had Lambert shafts. I've had um, who was a couple other top makers. Um, um, Felipe's made me some shafts. And, uh, come down to all of them the best shaft that i've played with so far that's been on that queue and it's been the most consistent and it's a wood shaft has been from lambert's yep it's a it strong just made, it's me, a, uh, just made me a new little flexion shaft for a queue that i have from him and uh it plays really nice i've had a regular wood shafts where he picked out the wood himself because i wanted it as stiff as he possibly could played with that thing that thing plays good and then i have a um one of his low deflection shafts that he's made. And it plays really good. I play with both of them. I think I'm, I will, the only difference that I wish that they could have done, maybe, but I think it took away from the low deflection was, I want the ferrule to be a little bigger in length. I don't want the, the short, short ferrule. I want the one that's half, half a ferrule. I don't want the inch. I want the, you know, like the, Inch long furls like they have on the Miyuchis. I like the little quarter inch furls. Yeah, I have a, I have a Lambert shaft that's got a, uh, a quarter inch um, phenolic furl that uh, yeah. plays really nice. I just had uh, Brian from Brian's Q Repair put a new tip on it for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, Brian does good work. He does. He does a really good job. I've had no complaints for. Uh, Anything that he's done with my cues. And he listens. You can get those guys out there to whack on cues and say, I can do this and that and the other. But if he listens to you and understands it and he remembers, all you got to do is tell him once. Because he, 
Nope. Once he remembers it, that's what you'll always get from him. The same nope. roundness of the tip, everything. He knows what you'll like. Exactly. That's what you need. I don't have to worry about it. I can I can give him my shaft and uh, have it have it back and, and and play with it and know that I don't have to worry about doing anything, any tapering of the tip or any any reshaping. It is uh, really consistent, so. There's lots of different tips for the brake cue. Um, it just depends what material you want. If you want like a poly, like a carbonate, polycarbonate tip, you got the PQ, you got uh, different, um, I forget the, the bullet tip or something. But yes, there's so much stuff out there. Man, back in the day when you only, there was only like six tips and Tweed made five of the six tips. That's what you played with. I have a uh, a myth leather tip on on, on my, one of my brake cues, and and I also have a Lambros brake cue, which is uh, he's got a special way he puts his tip on there, and it's a really decent brake. You know, it's not everybody likes it, but it breaks really well. That doesn't look good. Yeah, I know. Um, we used to, back in the day, we used to buy the champion tips, and you play with the champion tips, they cut them off because they had a pad on them. Then you would take the pad and you would glue the, your new tip on there, and then you glue what you wanted on there, and the pad would um, take care of the tip. Lucas is behind us. We, we used to play with the, the La Pro tips, and then we went from there to the Elk Masters, if you liked it a little softer. Andy just tied it up. Yeah, and then, uh, then they came out with the triangles, which there was a mixed tip between the LePro and the Elkmaster. That was a good tip. Yep. It only lasted about, that's when I was growing up playing in the pool room, and it only lasted about eight weeks. So if I got two months out of the tip, I was lucky. But back then, that's when you broke played, did everything with one cue. You didn't need no helper cues with the break cues and the jump cues and all that stuff. You broke, played, and everything with one cue. Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, Eric, if you can, uh, if you can find him, I think I have a Myth Leather tip, or uh, I think Brian has one that I gave him. They're a decent tip to try. Um, they're also a good jump tip as well. I, I know the, uh, the the Highlander Del Sim has a myth leather tip on his jump cue. I think he might have one on his brake, but I like them a lot. And Brian over Brian's cue repair likes them and relatively consistent. Although you got Sam Sarah as well. Everybody makes fun of Earl saying, oh, yeah, I jumped the full length of the table with a, a full Muchi. Q, yeah. Back in the day, that's when the cloth had less nylon in it, so it would bounce quicker. And you'd go into the bars. The bars had the, the cloth that had the rubber backing on them because it would last longer. It was easier to stretch, and it never, it never, um, it was easier to pull tight. And that was, uh, you could jump the big cue ball. The big mammoth marble cue ball. It's a full cue. Kill with chefs. Uh, yeah. Um, Richard Sue. Uh, tsunami chefs. Oh, yeah. And, Rick, and Eric keeps putting it up there. Yeah, we did play 24 7 all the time back then. We were. Growing up in Johnny C's and playing in the tournaments there, and I went to Bill and Billy's, and you slept all day, and then you got up and about enough time to get take a shower, get to the tournament, and then stay down Bill and Billy's. Oh, a misfit youth. <laughs> Oh, 
only thing I could really say is that the stuff that we've seen in those pool rooms, people only could see, people nowadays can only see it in movies. <laughs> yep. We all saw stuff firsthand. This is crazy. But that was normal life back then. Now it's changed so much. Yep, it's uh. Look at Google. They answered the question. I put it up there in three seconds. Within within a minute, they all had a drawbridge. Come on yep. now. They'd still be driving. They'd still be driving to the uh, library to look at the riddle book <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Andy looks like he's playing uh, pretty good now. He's uh, not that he's not been playing good. Um, three balls left. Oh, he is struggling. They're both struggling. I, I, I talked too soon. Uh, commentator's curse. Yeah, that's it. That commentator's curse thing. Let's go back to kill with chefs. Um. Davini makes a good the trans cave kill with shaft. Uh, Richard Sue for tsunami makes good kill kill with shafts. Well, really good. They're really, they're really great kill with shafts. What is kill? Is that something new? Some new kind of wood. Different cut of the tree. I don't know. Never heard of it. It's um. Is that better, old man Ferguson? I speak a little uh, a little softly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't get on the stream much. Yeah. He can't stop shoveling them gummy bears in his mouth. He keeps pushing away the mic. That's why you can't hear him. <laughs> That's going truth. for sugar high. That's the truth. <laughs> Sweet tarts and uh, gummy bears. Yeah. And Red Bull. <laughs> You're going to be sleeping. Your heart's going to be beating like a bird's heart. <laughs> yep. No time to sleep, though. Time to watch some pool. Yeah, that's it. Huh. Oh, he's struggling. It's a race to make the gate. If he, if he gets that mic any closer to his mouth, he's going to eat it like a gummy bear. So. <laughs> They don't want to hear me chew. Oh, oh, nice oh, nice bank this. shot. That's unfortunate. Unbelievable. This table plays a little faster. Yeah, it's got them all. Got them all the scared. Uh-oh. Get out. And he took the lead. Yep. Somebody, uh, somebody's name that starts with A is going to win tonight on this TV, TV stream. Yep. We're going to give it to you this time. Excuse me. Can I get a diet soda? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Holy smokes. G Gareth Jones is in Wales. What part of Wales are you uh are you from, Gareth? Thank you.
Let's see what happens here. This is a perfect shot on this new claw, hitting it below the side pocket and draw this shit hook big time. Can't hit it super hard. Ooh, it's gonna mess a around it. Try to barely click it. Oh, that was a hell of a try. Uh oh. Hanks from Alabama. Ah, roll tide. So, guys, love your opinions. What's wrong with this is done? Huh. What's wrong with our Moscone Cup team? Uh, we felt bad. We wanted them to win 2 nothing, and they're going to come back to Vegas, and well, maybe we'll stop them there. I think it's a gelling thing. They put a lot of pressure on himself. Yep. A lot of pressure on themselves. And going back to Gareth in, in Wales. Uh, I used to live in Shropshire, about two hours, two and a half hours away from where you live. The, the pool is a little different over there. Over in England, the uh, yellows and reds instead of stripes and solids. Yeah, I yeah. Is it Gareth? Is that how you pronounce his name? Yep, Gar Gareth Jones. Gareth Jones, yep. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I seen that um that shot that JJ had and cleaning the balls. It should be automatically stop the clock. Automatic. Doesn't matter what part of the time it is. Stop the clock. Actually, for any stop the clock or any shot that they ask you to clean the balls or move something or anything like that, it's got to be stop the clock. But like you said, the rules are on. Yeah, J JJ shot well and so did Skyler. Yeah. It was fun watching them. I, uh, I know Chris Reinhold shot well too. I mean, it was an unfortunate miss on on the four ball that he had, but I've, uh, I've watched him shoot in person. He does a lot with the uh, the junior, the pool league, and he, he actually takes, uh, does a lot of photography stuff with with the junior team and uh, travels with them to all over the United States for their tournaments. Evening, Steve. Yeah, just think if that was an Earl that that happened to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Earl probably would have never told him to clean the balls. He would have just shot it out. Oh, you would have had a lot of muting on the uh, on the TV after Earl would get upset. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Oh that was an God. unfortunate miss on the nine ball from Ma from Andy. Yeah, you would have heard. Leave, but... You would have definitely heard some f bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Look what they're trying to do to me. But in, in some ways, it's he probably never caught COVID. And he, people are around people with COVID all the time. Test him. He starts showing signs. Okay. Yep. Pull him thing off. thing is, over there, there I mean, he's been there for a while, or well, for a couple yeah. days. And with all the testing they do, I know... Um, couple locals here just went over for the junior tournaments in, in in Europe and the testing is super strict where they keep you in a bubble yeah so they would have known I think it's a some people say it's a conspiracy theory but yeah. everything's a conspiracy theory when it happens against you no. you know if there, if there could be a thought that it happened against you, or somebody changed your mind, especially like the way Earl thinks. I don't know. Maybe Earl will play uh, play next year, and he'll it'll be in Vegas, and we won't have to quarantine. Well, if he keeps doing them sit ups and all them push ups and spending thirty minutes on the treadmill and doing all that stuff, he's gonna be he, he's got a good chance of playing in that thing for the next ten years. Yep, he'll be in the best shape. Yep, he did take it. I mean, he took it seriously. Yeah, very sure. And, he, and he's right. That's the one thing that I can give the Europe, European guys. Those guys practice the, the play. Yep. They practice the play. Our guys are lazy to the day. You know. Yep. They'll sit around and do everything else, and then, oh yeah, I'm playing in the tournament next week, so I'm going to hit some balls. You know. Although, the, one who you prepares, know, the one who prepares the best. Watching Shane Shane play on his uh, on his Facebook stream. I think Shane hits a lot of balls. But I know Josh Filler uh, definitely practices a lot. Every once in a while, he's over here in the states playing and playing a lot of other tournaments over in Europe as well. Right. You want to get a headset? You can join us. This match has been going on for a while, man. You can sit here. Huh? Yeah. Well, Dave, I think, said he's ready to flip. I don't see him. I don't know where he went to. I think he went that way somewhere. Yeah, I think next year the Moscone Cup in Vegas... Uh, should hopefully be our year the, yeah. uh, with the American crowd. Yeah. I think that home field advantage helps out a lot, too, because yeah. everybody's usually uneasy. Yeah. You know, it really shows in that. I'd like to see him put the rest of the world into it, though, instead of just putting it just the Moscow Cup us against them, because I'm pretty sure there's other teams out there that could be put together. Oh, yeah. You know, and there's a there's enough people that play in these states and, and, and over there that you can have multiple teams play for the same country. Yeah. You know, and I don't, uh, maybe that's what they need to do. They need to draw in thousands of players to play in that. And get, uh, Dennis, get Dennis Ocrello a uh, U.S. passport. Yeah. He's probably got one. But yeah, he comes here for six months or whatever, and then he goes, oh, yeah. what the you know, he'll be here if he was able to play. Yep. Put it together, man. Stop waiting. We want to see it before we're gone. We don't want to see it in 20 years from now. They have all the ability to do it. Do it. I don't know what they're waiting for. You get more sponsors if you get all the countries into it. Yep. It'll be bigger. So so big, it, it's, it's what the pool thing needs. Yeah, Jason okay. Shaw is a beast when he uh Yeah. He he was he was in Maryland not too long ago, uh playing a tournament. Nice, uh very night wall. I think he lives in the Connecticut area. Yeah, I think that's where he's from. 
Yeah, he's got a nice pool pool room where he's at. In, uh, U.S. won billiards. Yep, if you're in the uh, Maryland, Virginia area, um, and, and let's see, on the 27th of this month, Ur Earl the Pearl is playing and doing a little clinic in, in Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see him put them all together and stop waiting. Because, look, they get that all hyped up for one big thing a year. And then, what well, they have their six other events that they added last year or whatever for, the, for this year. Okay. So. I don't know. What, what's it say? In the United States, I think there's 30 million people play golf. And there's 35 million people play pool. What's wrong with that? Got the spectators, you just don't know how to grab them. Yep. And, uh, state by state, team by team. Yep. And yes, a foreigner can play in the Maryland competition. Yep. Just bring, bring your cue and, uh, and sign up. Yep. You can play, you can play this one here, which there isn't, there is no handicap, or you can play in a bar box, the bar box bonanza series where there is a handicap for, um, players from all different skill levels so everybody has a chance and you're never going to get better if you just hold still and wait to happen if you want if you have a little bit of extra time practice correctly practice correct correctly and challenge yourself there's a lot of stuff going on around this town for it between leagues and tournaments and people giving lessons and, you know. and the cool thing is, is that we know we're never going to get rich off of it so give it away what I mean by that is all the people that want to charge hundreds of dollars an hour <laughs> for lessons just give it to them man let it grow well Little stuff like that can pay off a little longer. I might not be on this earth when it happens, but my my daughter might be a player by that time. But she's only four, but she could be a she'll be she could be a superstar because everything that I did wrong, not wrong, growing up, learning, she'll know it earlier if she has the interest. But I'm not going to push her. But she's playing golf for sure. <laughs> she gonna play golf and tennis. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my daughter is the uh, more more the ball ballet ballerina. Yeah. yeah. Right now, the four year old, my four year old, she's into whatever I want her to do. <laughs> I know she dances and stuff like that, and she likes that kind of stuff. But oh, I'm yeah. gonna put her into gymnastics and stuff. Man, she's gonna be in so much stuff because my older ones, I got a 25 year old, a 22 year old, and a 40 year old. Ugh. Man. It makes me feel young and old at the same time. Oh yeah, they they keep you running. I got. I'm gonna learn how to. I'm gonna become a cowboy and learn how to make a lasso, and be able to lasso her so she don't get too far away from me. Pull her near me. Josh, bring it here. And uh, yeah, MHF from 1979. Oh yeah, we. we we post uh, tournaments on, on Facebook and stuff like that. So if yep. you're ever here in the United States and you uh, want to give it a go, come on by. You can then take a, tro a Maryland State trophy back to Singapore. left me alone on the mic.
Yeah, the European team. They uh, definitely have have a lot more places to pick from. You can, you know, you pick from Spain. You can pick from from, from Greece. You can pick from Europe, from England, Scotland, Wales. Josh McCauley is about to join me on the stream. Do you want some gummy bears? Sorry? Do you want some gummy bears? Maybe. Now back to the only thing I know how to do well in the pool world. Tall? Crap. Yep. Yep. Dave Nangle is standing behind me, I guess. I don't know if he wants to take the headset off of my head. Uh, no, I mean, he's fine having a little rest because, well, he just got knocked out of the tournament, as did I. And he's probably saying, I'll just get in the next next one. This is already 5-5. Five, five. You've done such a good job. Finish it out. A Andy and Andrew, have, uh, they've been uh, playing reasonably well. Um, You're way been, too nice of a commentator. It's been a good back and forth. I'm, I'm just a mediocre pool player, so my commentating, uh, talk about more random stuff than, than pool. That's fine. Fed. Hey, if you get the people to like you. I don't know how many viewers we, we've had in the last hour. But we've roughly stayed about there, it looks like. I don't even know what's going on in the chat right now. Well, we're getting lots of random stuff in the chat. Right now, we're talking about the Moscone Cup. And uh, hopefully the U.S. can take it in Vegas next year. So, I know it's 5-5, five, five, but who's been playing better? It's It's... I'm going to say it's a coin toss. Um, okay. The last two matches, it's been a, a scratch. Normally, the last couple balls left on the table and getting ball in hand. Um, Andrew's been, been having some nice, uh, nice bank shots, but unfortunately having some scratches. And, Fair uh, enough. Andy's had some unfortunate rolls, but it's still a good match. Get behind the ten. All right, now I'm in the chat. Hello, everybody, and who do you guys like from here? You guys like Andrew or Andy? Oh, just a little too hard there. Try to play the safe. Yeah, I don't know much about Andrew, but yeah, I, I like Andy from here. Yeah, I, uh, they're 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 both good. I. I don't know Andy that much. Um, I know he, he likes, I guess, straight pull or, or one pocket. But um, uh, Andy is a very, very uh, good straight pull player. Very accomplished okay. straight pull player. Say it again, Josh. Uh, 
Uh, why is that doing that? People in the chat, what is the score? Is the score correct? Is it 5-5? Five, five? Uh, I just sat down. I'm, I'm taking control. I just want to make sure that the score is correct. Yes, if, if Michael Wong was playing, it would maybe be 1-1 one, one by now. They're, they're saying it's still 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, we'll just see when they quit. We'll just keep adding them up. Tony said the same thing. He, Tony said he thought it was 6-5. Oh, he hit that ball nice. It'll be 6-5 in a minute. Maybe instead of lag, they have future lag. They can see what's going to happen. That's what we've been doing with the, uh, the, the YouTube up here. Me and Lloyd have been talking and, and watching the what's been broadcasted on YouTube. And then to, commenting on that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we've been commenting on what the left screen is and and also seeing what's on the right. It's kind of like we're predicting the future. All right, so Andy is going to go up 6-5, or if he goes over and shakes Andrew's hand, then it was 6-5 already. Yeah. It was 6-5 already. Sorry about that. All right, so Andy won two two games that game and has won 7-5. We're going to take a quick break, find out who is coming up next, and... Uh,